Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video where I am gonna get ready for New Year's. It's actually, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Happy 2023. I hope you had a great New Year's. I hope you had a great holiday season. I'm gonna do my makeup because we are heading to our neighbors to celebrate a little bit, drink some Prosecco, have a good time. I am gonna get ready. I'm gonna be using some really fun makeup, some old things, some, some really old things and some new things. And I'm gonna be answering some tag questions as well because I thought that could be a good idea. Let's just catch up, let's be a little bit chill and let's do our makeup. And if you haven't been in before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit more on the colorful side. And since I've been invited to, what is this? A dinner party today, I'm definitely gonna go with something that I really like, which is a bold, dramatic, colorful eye. That's what we're doing. And if you want to see more of that, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload quite a lot of videos. I'm doing my makeup. It is like four o'clock right now. So I think I'm going to be using the Makeup by Mario again. This was one of the latest videos that I put up on my uh, channel. I did a full day, 12 hour wear test with this one and I didn't use it with the primer and I'm in the process of reviewing this one. This is the Nessa Myrix primer. This is the Blur Balm. I've only used it twice and I'll, I'll come back to you on this one, but I'm going to be using a little bit of primer uh, or like this one today. Maybe that is too much. Let's put some back. Hello, because I don't want this to be a mess. I'm just trying this product out with different things because like I want this product to work for me. Uh, and sometimes when you need stuff to work for you, sometimes you have to try it with different things. I like the finish of this one, but only up until five ish, six hours, then it became way too glowy. We've all seen the footage with me sitting in the car trying to block my face uh, and I just feel like today I'm going to use it with a mattifying primer and I'm going to use it with a powder, which I did in that video. If I hadn't set that with powder, it would just have slid right off my face. I needed to set that one down and I'm also going to be using it with a finishing spray and we'll see how it works out. I have been enjoying putting this one on with my fingers and then using a sponge to set down the rest. I will say, I wore this once just as is, and I think it worked out pretty okay. Okay, let me zoom in and we can talk a little bit about my plans for January, what I thought about Vlogmas, and this like New Year's resolutions tag. This set down pretty good. I think that this looks like a sheer coverage, super matte thing on my skin. And if you are leaning a little bit more on the combo oily, I do think that this could be a nice just, um, like a, a tint thing. I I got mine in um, three, number three. I will link everything down below that I'm, that I'm talking about. I went and I got myself a cider. It is New Year's Eve after all. You're probably seeing this on Monday. If I have time to edit on Monday, you're probably seeing it on Monday. I think I'm gonna get it up on Monday. So let's go in with this foundation. So let's talk about January. <laughs> I have been putting up videos every day for this many days. This is the amount of days. And I actually am not putting up a video tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the first day in a, a month and a half that I'm not putting up a video. So it's gonna be a little odd for me to like not have a video up, but it's also gonna be really, really nice. Vlogmas was amazing. I had a lot of fun. I was able to do a lot of really good videos and I didn't really do that many like dedicated makeup reviews, which is something that I wanted to like not do as many. I still want to do them. I like, I want to mix it up. I want to do new makeup mixed with old makeup mixed with just commentary. And I really feel like I had a good mix in November and December. There was some new things coming in at the end of December. So I did a couple of videos reviewing new makeup at the end of December, but I think I only did three like dedicated makeup reviews throughout like the actual vlogmas. I did decide that when January comes, I was going to upload a little less. And I do realize that there is, that I'm very blessed to be able to take a little time off. Will say though, I did not have any kind of vacation this summer. Even when I went on a vacation, I think in September with my husband, I still was vlogging and working during my vacation and I still did upload videos during my vacation. So technically I did work a lot before my vacation to be able to do that. So I am gonna, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this new concealer today that I didn't try when I did that Tarte video. I'm gonna try to upload, this is my goal, 
two to three times a week. It's more the, I don't want to totally disappear. I want to keep doing my new makeup releases. I want to like keep doing low videos because I like what I do. I like my job. And also like, I don't want to totally just disappear because there's no real reason. I mean, I'm here, I'm working from home. I am going on a little bit of a vacation at the end of December uh, in adjacent to my, uh, to my birthday. I'm going on a little vacation. So maybe that week we'll have probably not a new makeup releases, but I'm just going to be doing this for a little bit because honestly, I want to be gaming. I want to be playing video games. I am probably, as you're seeing this, I have probably already bought and downloaded and installed Dragonflight. I am so excited to be playing it. It seems so much fun and I am really looking forward to doing that. And I also feel like I want to treat myself to a little vacation because 2022 was my best year on YouTube so far when it comes to like AdSense and December was my best December so far. And it's mostly because my views were up because I will say AdSense on a whole is down right now on YouTube. It isn't something that I am super worried about, but I, I still had a really good vlogmas and I had a lot of fun and I really liked the videos that I did. So thank you so much for everyone who watched my videos and for commenting and for sharing. I had a great time. I liked the videos that I did and I really liked the response that I got from you as well. I, I ha honestly, I had a great time. I had a great time and I'm just, I'm thrilled that I was able to do another successful um, like vlogmas. But with that being said, now that I said like, oh, I had a, I've had a successful year, I'm just gonna try and just give myself a little breathing space so that I can enjoy other things too. Because for instance, I haven't read a single book <sighs> since my mom was here. And I like reading, but how am I supposed to have time for that? And I have been working every weekend since my mom left. And I just, I want to reclaim my life a little bit. I'm actually, uh, the weekend after you're seeing this one, I am actually heading, I'm going to have a member Zoom next weekend. Uh, I hope I don't forget. I wanted to have it, but then I remembered it was like New Year's Eve. I'm like, maybe not on New Year's Eve. Maybe that's not the best day, but I'm going to have a member Zoom. And also I'm actually meeting a fellow YouTuber that weekend, which is going to be super, super fun. I'm toying with the idea of maybe vlogging it, but we'll see. And I'm also super excited about the, oh, I have a fiber here. And yeah, I'm also going on a vacation and that one I will be vlogging because I am um, going with some friends and it's going to be super, I'm just super, super excited. I have something here. Did I not get rid of it? Hello? This foundation doesn't really dry down. So I'm going to be using um, a little powder with my poof and I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and then we can jump into this tag because it is that tag that Mel Thompson did and I really, I mean, I, I love Mel. I miss Mel. And I saw that Kelsey Brown, the J and Samantha March was doing this tag. And I was like, wait, I want to do this tag too. So I'm going to do the tag too and answer the questions because I feel like it's just a really good way of starting the new year and catching up and just, I don't know, something chill and nice. Mm -mm. Did I say I was drinking? This is a dry plum cider. It is from something orchard. I really like it. It's like dry. It's a really nice one. Okay, so let me do the tag. The tag is called, let me double check so I don't say it wrong. The tag is called Beauty Resolutions Tag and this was created by Mel and we're doing it now for 2023. So there are, oh, there are 10 different questions and I'm already at my brows, but here we go. Number one is something you do regularly in your makeup routine that you will try to stop. And I've actually been thinking a little bit about these. Sometimes I go in blindly uh, with tags, but with this one, I was actually trying to think a little bit. And something that I will stop doing, which is more of a YouTuber thing, not necessarily like my makeup routine, is that I am gonna try and be better or stop trying to like make fetch happen when I'm doing like my makeup. Like sometimes when I review makeup, I wanna like incorporate as much as possible of an eyeshadow palette. I'm like, oh, I wanna use as many shadows as possible. I wanna make this love. Like at the end of the day, I wanna create something that I truly think that you could recreate. Something, not that I'm like advanced or like above you or anything. I definitely don't think that. I am not a pro. I am just someone that loves makeup. But sometimes I feel like I, 
just bend over backwards to create something that incorporates as many shadows as possible. And it's not very likely that you are gonna wanna recreate a look like that. So instead I'm gonna try and focus just a little bit more on creating something that I actually think might be something that you want to recreate, even if that means using less shadows in a palette. So that is something that I have been thinking of lately that I want to do. Another thing that I probably should mention that I really want to do, is this one turning like, is it going empty? I might need a new one. I do have a backup. I love this one. Another thing that I have been thinking of that I really want to do is that I want to stop, again, stop trying to make fetch happen. Stop trying to pan products I don't like. Sometimes we get into that mind space and I bet you're the same when it's like I, I try to like paint back my beauty marks because I feel like it makes the foundation look a little bit more natural. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm telling myself, oh, I'm a little bit tired of the, this foundation or it's not my favorite. So I'm going to use it up to get rid of it. If I, I have a huge collection, if I don't like something, why am I trying to use it up? Overall, I think all of us should be a little bit more like use your nice stuff use your favorites use your nice gowns use your nice china bring out your nice bag like use your nice stuff you don't have to be like you don't have to be saving stuff for what what are you saving this stuff for like it makes no sense so that is something that i myself is going to stop doing um, and I know that like it doesn't resonate with everyone, but uh, I need to stop doing that and I need to be better at like, yeah, just not trying to, it's almost like, you know, hate watching YouTubers. If I don't like the foundation, if I don't like the primer, just move on. Move on, I don't need to use it up. Next one is a brand you will try for the first time. And I found this one a little bit interesting because I haven't done any like brands I want to try for the first time next year kind of videos. But there is one brand that I really, really do want to try that I know a lot of people are talking about. I saw people that I trust and that I like watching have been reviewing this brand and I'm like, I want to review it too. And that is Moira. I have tried Moira before, uh, but I only think I've tried a blush and I actually didn't like the blushes that I tried because I thought that they were too pigmented and I personally prefer a less pigmented formula. That's just a personal preference though. It's not that like they were necessarily bad. It just wasn't my favorite formula because it was matte and very pigmented. So it's like a double whammy on things that I don't prefer with blushes, but not necessarily doesn't mean that it's a bad blush. But I really wanna try the brand. It seems like they're having a lot of really good stuff. So if you're interested in seeing me try this brand, do let me know because yeah, that's the, that's the only brand that I can think of where I'm like, oh yeah, I really wanna try that brand. So I think that that might be a brand that I try. Maybe February? Or should I like, next time they release something. Next time they release something, I'll buy it. I'm gonna do some gloss while I'm drinking cider. Huh. Mm, it will be fine. Next one is a brand that you will let go in 2020. Hmm, I don't really know about that one. I'm gonna be using this one today because I wanna be trying that, was it the fuchsia Pantone color of the year? And I really wanna go and do some, something that I really like, which is berries. I'm gonna do some berries in the crease, a gloss, and I'm gonna use, I think, this one? Yeah, I'll use a little bit of this one as a blush before I go in with eyeshadows. I don't know if there's necessarily a brand where I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna leave them, but one brand where I am gonna be a little bit more hesitant on buying is gonna be Kosas because I bought um, lip liners from Kosas as they launched and they were already rancid, like they've already turned bad uh, when I got them. And the shelf life of the liners were 12 months, but the liners got discontinued before the shelf life even was over. So, yeah, I wasn't overly impressed with those. And now I hear everybody having, because I've had a bronzer from Kosas as well that also, um, when I got it, it was already turned. Like it, it was like the fats had already uh, gone rancid before like I even got the bronzer. So it's one of those brands, even though my uh, concealer and my foundation didn't turn bad, I've heard others that have had really bad experience with the 
concealers and the foundations and now with the with the the bronzer and the lip liner it's just one of those brands where i'm like i'm side eyeing them a little bit i'm a little bit more cautious because like i don't want to buy bad products and i also don't want to support a company that can't even be bothered with like stress testing their formulas before releasing them so yeah it's not that i'm leaving them behind but i'm definitely side eyeing them a little bit number four is what makeup technique would you like to learn or try once i don't know if there's necessarily a makeup technique that I would like to try more but there is a specific type of like step that I would like to add when I do my makeup and I did that last week when I did that look with the neon green liner I want to add stuff like that I want to add like an extra step because I have so many glitter liners and toppers and just neon liners and just I want to add an extra step like do I want to do eyeliner do I want to do gems or glitter because I have so many products like that that I really like and I feel like sometimes I tend to forget that I have those things to play with and I want to maybe like play a little bit more with that this year that's something that I'm probably gonna try at least to add to my to my routine just because like just because I can <laughs> and because I think it's fun. Uh, I don't know if there's like any technique I'm gonna like learn or try once. I want to be even better at that like little eyeliner hook in the inner corner. I want to be better at that because I feel like sometimes when I do it, it ends up super good, <laughs> and then sometimes I do it, I'm like. Did my like seven year old niece do this? Because this is rough. Number five is a product you will leave in 2020. Is that like a product step or like a specific product? I feel like had you asked me any other year, let me see if I can put this down. Had you asked me any other year, I probably would have been like, oh, contour. But I feel like contours are coming back a little bit. And even I am like, maybe I should add a little contour today. Even I'm like, this is a little fun. I really like those new contour trios that Kaleidos launched. And even I am like, oh, maybe that's a little fun. I mean, I'm not going to start contouring in a way that I've never done, but I definitely feel like it's, it's a little fun. I could see myself doing a little bit more contour on my, like, my cheekbones. Other than that, makeup product, full strip lashes. I think I'm over it. I love a half lash. Like, I love a half lash. I will be wearing a half lash today. I think half lashes are beautiful. Maybe full strip lashes has just, like, done its... It's it's run its course in my life. At least for now. I've just totally, totally fallen out of love with them. Oops. Ooh, product you will give a second chance to. I actually did pull out some products from my makeup declutter that I decided that I was going to give a second chance to based on what you said in the comments on how you like it or how you like to try it. One of them is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I have been trying that a couple of times since my declutter. I will say I still think it is a little bit too glowy for my liking and if I am looking for something that is like low coverage, I don't think I'm gonna reach for that. It just doesn't really jive with like the combo skin that I've gotten since I moved here to, uh, to Texas. But I wanted to give it another try and I'm still gonna be wearing it a couple more times before I decide whether or not I'm actually gonna get rid of it. I also pulled out the uh, the Orion concealer because I was like I want to give this a couple of more chances it didn't totally jive under my eyes and I don't spot conceal because I very very rarely get any breakouts I don't suffer from like hormonal acne at all uh, I get like one breakout every other time I get my period. So I don't really need to spot conceal. I don't have a product for that. I will actually say I do have a product for that. I use the Juvia's Place foundation, the, uh, the, the full coverage matte foundation. I use that one as spot concealer because it's like my shade like of foundation. So when I need a spot concealer, I will bring that one out because I feel like it's a little bit too full coverage to be like a, a, a full face kind of a situation so I don't know if I'm going to be using the REM concealer like that but some people were telling me that you like pulling it out on your hand and warming it up and that way you could really make it look super smooth under your eyes too so I'm going to give it another try that is definitely a product that I am pulling out I also am going to give the house labs foundation a couple of more tries that one really did not jive with 
my skin. <laughs> it really like, it went super glowy on me. And I will say, I feel super, so many of you were like, no, it's matte on me. I'm like, Ugh. I feel like all of my viewers have like dry skin. I feel so vindicated. I watched Manny's video. Um, I watched it today on New Year's Eve. So a couple of days ago since you're watching this and he was trying to do makeup and he was saying that this one was a foundation that just like I feel it looks beautiful on the skin, but it hasn't gotten the longest wear time. And he was calling the House Labs foundation radiant. And I was like, thank you. I feel so vindicated. I know that um, Manny has oily skin, but that really shows that depending on your skin type, that foundation can go from dry to full on glow bonanza. So I'm going to give that foundation a couple of more tries uh, with like, you know, the setting spray, the powder, the whole, the whole shebang. Because I, I want to make sure that the way that I feel about this foundation is the way that I really feel about that foundation. Other than that, I don't have any product right now that I'm like, oh, I need to like give this another chance. But like, there's three products at least. I always, always, always try to give products a second chance if I end up seeing comments or YouTubers that have somewhat similar skin or preference to me that feels totally different about a product. I, I really feel like, and this goes through like the entire society, I feel like we need to normalize changing our minds about things. It is okay to change your mind about anything. We all grow, we all change our mind. And if you don't change your mind, that's fine too. At least you gave it another shot. So I have been using this one and I think I'm just gonna blend it out with this pinky one to get like the fuchsia edges. I think this is gonna be my journey. Number seven is a resolution for your YouTube channel. Okay, so like I said, my YouTube channel honestly have been doing pretty good during 2022. YouTube as a platform have been seeing a little bit of a ruckus, I would say. Um, I can tell from like a creator standpoint that for instance, like, even though my AdSense was higher this year than last year, I can see that YouTube is paying less per view during December this year than they did last year, which is probably due to some of the bigger advertisement advertisers pulling out. I don't think that that necessarily has to do with the platform. It maybe has to do with like where the economy is going. Um, but I love YouTube. I love doing this. I haven't grown tired of it yet. So I am definitely going to keep doing this for a bit more. I have some really exciting stuff ha happening in 2023. I have some travels planned and I'm just going to keep doing what I do. But I think like after moving here, I, I feel like both me and Ricardo went into this, even though I was like, oh my God, work-life balance don't know her. I want to be a little bit better at the work-life balance next year. Um, I feel like I was doing really good at the beginning of the year and then somewhere during the summer like it all just went haywire and that's also one of the reasons why I'm just trying to slow down a little bit in January because like I don't live to work. I work to live and I truly have never been, even though I'm like, yeah, sometimes you need to hustle. But like, I don't want to be in a constant 24-7 hustle thing. That's not my journey. That's not how I was brought up. That is not how I see success. I, I don't care if you could be even more successful if you work more. Sometimes you just have to like, you know, stop and smell the flowers. You know, you have to like just relax a little bit. And that's where I feel like I am right now with YouTube. I'm like, one of my resolutions is to be even better with work-life balance. And when you see what I have planned for next year, you're probably gonna laugh. <laughs> remember, remember that I said this, come like this year. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about 2023. I think it's going to be a great year. And yeah, I think that my YouTube resolution is to be even better at like work-life balance. And then of course, I'm, I'm still in the middle of a low buy. I don't have any rules. I'm just trying to shop less than I have before.
that's just that's my only rule uh, to make sure that my channel is a mix of old and new and like now I'm I'm digging out this palette that was I think Valentine's last year I'm using an old gloss from Lunar Beauty I'm trying to mix old and new just trying to make some kind of an effort and that's also like a definitely a goal for my youtube channel is to mix old and new and to not be a channel just about the new 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 because i feel like that takes away from the whole thing of just appreciating the makeup that we actually collect and appreciate the makeup that we actually uh, have i did a video on these odin's eye singles that was the video that was live probably yesterday so i am going to be using one of these today because i didn't have time to use one of them i think this right but this is a really nice topper as well. That could be really nice on top of this. Honestly, that could be really nice. But I think we're going to do this one. Uh, I will put the name of this one down below because I am not able to like lift the shadow up right now. But that's the one I'm going to use on my lid. And the video was up yesterday. Well, on um, January 1st. If you want to see me swatch all of these shadows, there are... Um, 42 shadows so there's quite a few shadows if you're interested in seeing all of these swatch they are launching on the 5th of january so in a couple of days and per usual i do have a code with Uden's eye and my code is anjeshka oh they're so pretty and that will get you 10 percent off i love these kind of peaches especially with reds or like berries mm, i'm so excited that this is gonna be my new year's look do you have any new year's resolutions i love that i'm just hijacking this tag my new year's resolution is to start running again i miss running but i will say i don't feel safe running outdoors in the u.s i love running but there's been a lot of incidents um and i don't want to be running by myself and i don't want to be running by myself in the dark so i might buy a treadmill this is this is the thing that's been keeping me from uh, running so far so i am actually have been looking at treadmills if you have a if you have a suggestion of which one to buy i was trying to buy out of like facebook marketplace but uh, you know when you're on the like the facebook like marketplace or like any kind of those like secondhand sites you realize how much you hate people because they're so annoying they're so annoying and then they ghost you and like i realized that they sold to someone else but it's just so so I, I am over that. I think I'm just going to buy something new. I don't want to spend like $2,000. I wouldn't mind spending like $500, but I don't want to spend like $2,000. So don't suggest me anything that's like that expensive. Wow, this is so pretty. I think this has a little green to it. Oh yeah, I definitely see the green here. I don't know if you could see it. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, that is my New Year's goal because I love running. But I think that for right now, it's going to be indoors. Am I going to try this one in the inner corner? It's like a green. Maybe not. Maybe not. Did this one have a pastel pink or should I bring something out? No, that is not pastel enough. Okay, I'll do some mascara and I'll come back with a pastel pink. And we can finish the questions and I need to change my battery. I actually fetched the Primal palette by Blend Money Cosmetics. I think I'm going to mix this almost like pinky lavender with the white and we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see oh my god there's so many things in front of me i'm so happy you can't see this like you have no idea we're gonna see if we can make this an unicorn highlight one thing that i want to add to like stuff that i want to do next year is that i want to do more in-person collabs i've done a couple this year and it's been absolutely lovely and i am not above traveling to do a collab i would love to collab with more people i'm not the person that's gonna like invite myself but yeah if you're a creator and you're watching this listen i'm not above of course like it has to be someone that i like no <laughs> i'm not gonna travel to a stranger but like if i know you i might come visit you listen i'm not about that i think that, that is so much fun it gives me so much energy it, it's just such a nice way of networking and of doing videos together. And I would love to do some more of that in 2023 because I've done videos with Samantha March and with Heather Austin. And I would love to do at least two more next year. That's actually a 
like a resolution that I would like to do for my YouTube channel. So let me know who you would like me to collab with. And if you are like, if we're friends, if we talk behind the scenes, hit me up. I might be open for traveling unless you're like really out of my way. Like remember where I am. <laughs> Ooh, number eight. This, I feel so attacked by this one. <laughs> number eight is, do you have any skincare resolutions? Yeah. To do it, yeah, I would like 2023 to be the year where I actually do my skincare. And not, cause people keep asking me, what's your skincare routine? I will, I, half of the time I forget my skincare. That is my skincare routine. And I feel awful for saying that, but honestly, I forget. I'm so tired. And this is where the work-life balance comes in. Because I will be honest, when I do my skincare, I love it i feel so accomplished my skin does feel better not that i ever have any problems with like breakouts or my skin going totally bonanza or like even having like dry spots or anything i don't have that problem but I, of course i still see a difference here it is. of course i still see a difference when i skip skincare i always remove my makeup that i do but in the morning it's pretty common that i like totally forget about skincare uh, and I don't want to be that person. So yeah, that is a resolution that I'm going to try to do. <laughs> we'll see. I think there's only two questions left. A YouTube beauty challenge you will partake in in 2023. Um, I don't know if I necessarily... I'm going to put on, like I said, I'm going to put on some half lashes. Let me put some glue on. I don't necessarily know if I have any on the top of my... Like, on the top of my head, if I have any... Like, this is the one that I want to do. Because mm. I... I will say, there's been this, like, clean girl makeup. And it's been the cold girl makeup. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like that. I don't... Like, you can tell. I don't want to do that kind of a makeup. Like, I've been invited to a dinner tonight. This is the makeup that I'm doing. I don't like that kind of a makeup, so I don't partake in it. But if there's ever a trend that I really like, of course I'm gonna jump on it, definitely. And sometimes there are really fun trends when it comes to like YouTube videos as well that I really enjoy and I don't mind jumping on it, but I'm never gonna partake in a trend for the sake of, oh, I need to jump on this because this is what's popular. That's not my journey and I will be honest, had I been more, savage when it comes to like my social media journey i probably would have gained a lot more subscribers had i been better at like doing what's like popular right now because my kind of makeup which is literally like a remnant from 2017 it's not what's like really popular right now but it's what i like but if something comes up i do see trends as like i see trends as like a way to <sighs> Try new things out that seem fun. But if they don't seem fun, I'm not going to do it. Listen, I'm not doing blush on my nose. I don't like that. So I'm not doing that. It's not that deep. I decided to do an updo. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it exactly like this. I just did a very sloppy updo. But honestly, I just want to have my hair up. I like having my hair up. I'm going to have my hair up for today. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this blouse for the dinner, but this is one of my favorite pieces of coding in my closet. If you've been here, you know that this shirt has been here throughout all the seven years that I have been on YouTube, seven and a half years now. I love it. It's a very old shirt for Monkey, and unfortunately it's not available anymore, but I really love it. And when I love something, I, I tend to keep it forever. I tend to keep it forever. The last question is a beauty habit that you will need to stop this year. Buying skincare I'm not using? <laughs> no, but honestly, something I need to stop what would that be <sighs> i don't know if i have something that i'm like okay something i need to stop doing i need to stop procrastinating washing my brushes they're not gonna wash themselves bitch stop trying to be lazy i need to get some kind of a system <laughs> going where either like either i need to get my little hiney out of the the comfy chair and just wash my brushes each week or maybe even each day 
or I need to just hire someone to do it because like this is ridiculous like I see them in front of me and it's it's a lot it's not it's not doable that is that is something that I need to get done and I think that that is something that I'm gonna try and do for myself as well during January to just set up some kind of a system because it is it's not really working out for me but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you had an amazing holiday season or an amazing new year's or whatever you're celebrating or if you actively avoid celebrating that's totally fine too i had a really nice time thank you everyone who's been so supportive and so nice to me throughout this vlogmas season it's been really fun it's been really nice seeing your encouraging comments and even though vlogmas sometimes can be a little bit stressful for me it's positive stress because i really like planning and executing vlogmas but yeah now i'm gonna take some time off and i'm gonna play world of warcraft with my friends but i will still be uploading some videos but tomorrow will be the first day in a really long time where there will not be a video on my channel but i will be doing my new makeup releases on friday and i probably will have another video up either on wednesday or thursday but yeah two to three videos a week for the rest of january that is my goal. I'd love to hear about your resolutions, if it has to do with YouTube, if it has to do with makeup, if it has to do with anything else. I'd love to hear about it in the comments, that chat about what we're hoping that 2023 is going to bring for us. And yeah, I will see you not tomorrow, but fairly soon in a new video. Bye!